everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One Training. Today, I want to go over how to create a smart album within your Mac Photo app. This is applicable only to your Mac. So the first thing you're going to do, obviously, is open your photo app. And down where it says My Albums, on the left-hand pane, click on the plus sign. And you're going to select Smart Album. It's going to come up with this box that's going to say, all right, give the album a name. So I have a bunch of photos for this example that are from a wedding. So I'm just going to title this A and A's Wedding. And you see here, it's going to say, okay, what are the conditions? So if you click on this down arrow, you can see that you can have, based on an album, date captured, date added, a caption, a file name, a keyword, person, photo, text, or title. And then, of course, you have all of your different camera options down below. So if you're a real shutter bug, you may be able to utilize these in a really uh, good fashion. But for our purposes, we're going to use date added and then so we're going to say date added the second part of that is it's going to default to is in the last and then it'll default to 30 days or whatever but in this case I want to say is in the range so now it's going to give us two date fields so here I'm going to put in the date 10 23 2021 and then so it's a from and to so we're going to put in 10 24 2021 all right so it's going to be it's this criteria is going to be based on the data added is in the range between 10 23 2021 and 10 24 2021 so it has 61 matched items and then you just say okay Boom. There they are. Now you'll notice up here that it says 59 photos and two videos. So you it'll capture both photos and videos, whatever matches that criteria. Now that's based on a date. Now one of the purposes of a smart album is that when you add photos, they will automatically be populated in that smart album. So a date range is not really conducive to that. So I'm going to show you how to use a keyword that you can assign to photos. And then as you add photos, you, if you reuse that keyword, it will automatically populate that particular smart album. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus sign again, hit Smart Album, and I'm going to title this album Items for Sale. All right. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to say Keyword. And then you see it's going to say Is. So, you know, but you can also say Is, is or Is Not. Now, Obviously, if you say is not, that would be a much bigger universe than if you want to match just the keyword. So in this example, we're going to say is. Now, I created a keyword called item for sale. So it will add it to this list. So you just click on it. You see it picked up 97 items matched. And you just say, okay. There's our album, and here's our 97 items. All right. If you go, I'll go to my library, and I'll pick a new photo. Now, how do you add a keyword? All right. So if we click on this photo, right, and just say this is something that I want to sell, you click on the information button and add a keyword. Type in here item and see it's going to match the list that you've created before and then you just hit enter puts it in now that photo will now appear in our items for sale right there it's a 
one way to get a keyword into a singular photo. But if I wanted or if I had more than one photo, all right, all you would do is click on the first photo, hold your shift key down, click on the last photo, go to the information button or right mouse click and get info. And in your keyword, type in, and again, item for sale, just hit enter. All of those photos will be in that album. So you can see how that may be beneficial if you're categorizing your photos by a particular category. You could say maybe you want all wedding photos no matter whose wedding it is, in a particular smart album. So then when you get done taking the photos, you can highlight all the photos and videos you took of a particular wedding. I'll show you here, like I just said, get info, and then go into the keyword and type in wedding. And then all of those photos will accumulate in the smart album called All My Weddings or whatever you wanted to title it. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to like any comments or questions. Let us know. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.